Hey guys, the other day I just um, rang around to some bearing shops and see where I could get the best price for some bearing blocks. Um, some bearings and a little sprocket. Um, I only found one shop that was close to me that uh, had this little one. This is an 11 to 35 pitch sprocket. It has an 8mm bore, but I'm just going to drill it out to 5.8 um, or 16mm. I'm going to take that to school today and... Um, Weld it up with a mix because because this is really thick and then my clutch drum is really thin I don't want to arc it because um, it'll probably just burn holes and I won't get the greatest penetration So I'm just gonna mig it um, So I got all this for 30 bucks um, The two bearing blocks and holders um, Sorry the two bearings and holders with 13 each and uh, this is almost four dollars so, uh, I rang around, and the first price I was quoted was 35 bucks for a bearing and 15 for a holder. Yeah, that's $50 just for one. So, it would have been 100 plus this, so $104. So, I saved myself 70 bucks going to this other shop. So, it pays to ring around, guys. Um... The next place I was quoted the exact same price as this one, but they didn't have the sprocket I wanted, so I didn't want to just go to their shop, then go to this one. And then I ran your third shop, and they had the same price on the bearing blocks and holders as uh, bearings and the holders as the other shop, but they had this little sprocket. The only sprocket the other guys had was a um, 16 tooth in the 35 pitch range was the, the lowest they had, and because um, they don't really deal with 35 much because it's imperial. Um, and it didn't have a hub on it, so it was only just a sprocket. And I would have had to weld a hub on myself, and that requires a lot of accuracy, which I don't have. So, pretty much, um, i got to put the bearings in the holders. Um, obviously, all you do is just, you get a flathead screwdriver, put this in the vise, and then pry it up. And it'll just push it in. So I'll do that today after school. Like I said, I'll weld this... Oops, I weld this sprocket to the clutch drum today. And then um, then I can mount the bearing box when I get home, mount the axle, mount this on the engine, hook up the chain. Then I might go down to the RC shop, get some crystals, then I can hook up the throttle servo. And then um, soon my steering servos will be in, and then I can start working on what I want to do for the steering setup. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do for the steering setup at the moment. I'm trying to figure out a way, I'm looking at everyone else's builds on, you know, trying to create the least amount of stress I can on the um, surveys because they're not that strong, like the arms themselves are only like plastic, so I don't want to create any, you know, up and down forces or anything on the surveys themselves, I just want sideways forces, so I'm trying to figure out a steering system that will allow me to do that. I'm probably going to use ball joints because they just, um, you know, they minimise a lot of friction and stuff, unwanted friction. That's just going to put more stress on the servos. So, yeah, um, if you guys have any ideas on steering, how to hook it up, um, please just give me a link to whatever it is or just PM me or comment me or anything because I'm not really great with that sort of stuff. Um, you know, I know how to build a go-kart or whatever, but the electronic side of it or how to hook up the servos and stuff, I'm not really too great on. So if you guys could just help me out there, that would be awesome. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.